My name is Godzo Ugwa. And I'm Jocelyn Rios. And this is One Piece at a Time. We're your hosts. And in celebration of the One Piece anime's 20th anniversary, this podcast will explore each episode of this beloved franchise from the perspective of a season One Piece fan and a first-time watcher. We are social media producers at Funimation, and we can't wait to dive into this week's episodes. So join us on this adventure starting right now. So, last podcast episode, which was episode 16, uh, we went over episodes 1 to 20 through 1 to 27, uh-huh. where they finally made it to Alabasta, finally made it to Albarna, mm-hmm. finally made it to the last battle, and um, we were counting down the moments. Yeah, we, yeah. we were trying to see if they're going to be able to defuse the bomb and all, right? Yes. And if <laughs> they're going to so be able long. to. Honestly, right? <laughs> but it, it was it, I was enthralled the whole time, and everyone fought really hard, mm-hmm. and everyone, they were able to, to take out the bomb. Yes. Just in time, you know, it's the bomb that Crocodile threatened to blow up in the square. Uh, they took out everybody else standing in the way and took out the bomb. Mm-hmm. So now we're on episode 17 of the podcast, and we're going through episodes 128 through 135. We're, we're going to go through having my heart broken. Yeah. And my heart was broken, too. The I felt bad for you. leaves towards new adventures, Yay. and we revisit their past. Mm-hmm. I mean, some of their past, and, you know, what's important to them. Yeah. It was really good. Yes. The funny thing is, a lot of these episodes were actually filler. Yeah. Yeah. I was. I wanted to ask you that because it it seemed like it was. Yes. But it's good filler. I know. Like I I was surprised actually. I wasn't expecting to like it as much. Mm-hmm. Anyways, let's get to it. Okay. Episode one to twenty eight: The Pirates Banquet and Operation Escape from Alabasta. Man. So, so. we. Finally beat Crocodile. Woo! Mm-hmm. We can take a breather Woo! for a bit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We actually get to celebrate, which is nice. <laughs> yeah. so like this, it, it's, it's, they deserved it, although it has to be kept secret, the secret war. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because mm. they're pirates. I guess, right? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I guess. But it, it's true. That's just the way of the world. Mm-hmm. And, you know, um, I guess ever since, like, really talking to you, like these were not things I would have noticed, really, but details of, like, yeah, them being pirates and, like, everything just having to be kept secret, you know? And, like, I never – I don't think I'd really noticed that beforehand. But um, it, it's really cool to see um, the the influence of the military, the world government, and then also um, piracy, you know? Mm-hmm. This sort of, like, this is the way of the world, you know? Yeah. Um, whereas I think it would have been – I would have felt it to be unfair in the past. Now I feel like that's just how things go. Yeah. Yeah, it's very parallel to some real life situations, mm-hmm. you know, of keeping things under wraps, um, manipulating uh, opinion mm. of the people, Oof. all that stuff. You know? Man, <laughs> heavy stuff, heavy stuff. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, now we're finally back at the palace. Everyone is resting or rested, you know, and healing. Yeah. Um, and uh, we even get to see. Uh, everyone just have fun for once, you know, sleep yes. on nice beds. Uh, we, yeah. we got to see Chopper be complimented for his doctoring skills, right? Yeah, <laughs> and he he doesn't take compliments very well. <laughs> yeah, right. He's like, shut he's up, Like, shut jerk. up while he's handing a cup of tea. And yeah, like, to get feel out of here. Seat, right? <laughs> it's like, man, poor kid. But at the same time. Uh, I get it. Yeah. I, I'm not, I don't take compliments well either. <laughs> <laughs> so, Although not to that extent, right? <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't tell people that they're jerks or anything. <laughs> Shut up, you bastard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Man, poor, poor boy. But at the same time, he's, he's our boy. Mm-hmm. And then uh, we, we even get to see people already going back to like Zoro's training, even though he's been hurt. I know. Yeah. yeah, he's already training. Golly, you know. Uh, <laughs> I mean, you just learned a new skill. You can, you know, rest for true. a while. Although Take he, a he he said he few days off exactly, but he's <laughs> he said he wants to get it to where he can like pull that out anytime because um, I guess while while he was training with the mm-hmm. giant rocks, which I thought was pretty cool training, um, he was like, I don't know if I can. he's he had some doubt if he can bring that skill out again. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so that was interesting. Um, we saw Usopp and Sanji in the square shopping for materials, which yeah. is good. You know, everyone everyone's getting back to it. Luffy's still asleep at this point, actually. Mm-hmm. And uh, Vivi's taking care of him. Yeah, it makes sense. I mean, he did have like a super long and difficult fight. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, he got <laughs> he stabbed. He fought for days, I feel. <laughs> well, yeah, I think he legitimately did. Yeah. Like, I mean, I like, because so. he got stabbed from Crocodile. Then he got healed ish by Pell. Then after that, then he went back to fight. Got dehydrated, and then was bleeding from that whole thing. Uh huh. And then got impaled multiple times and yeah, poisoned. poisoned. Jeez. Uh-huh. And then 
yeah, he's he's been through a lot. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So yeah. But he wakes up. Yeah. Hungry. Yeah. <laughs> Super of course. Hungry. Of course. And yeah, they throw them a big banquet, which is nice. Mm-hmm. That banquet cracked me up. <laughs> yeah, and they're all just like <laughs> eating all of it. Uh, yeah, being screwy. Yeah, being just like yeah. being messy. A lot of uh-huh. royal army is like, man, these guys are pigs. But and yeah. we meet the, um, I think it's Giram's wife. Yes, looks uh, just like him. Yes, I and know. she's like challenge accepted and starts mm-hmm. like cooking all terracotta. the stuff. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's her name. Terracotta. Yeah, terracotta. Huh? Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. So. Which is cool. I mean, I'm glad that she was all about it. At first, they're like, Igron is cross-dressing again. I was like, that's rude. <laughs> <laughs> Although, I mean, it, I think it is a little weird that your wife looks exactly like you. Yeah, that is a little weird. Right? It's like, are you sure not you're related or anything? Is this <laughs> Game of Thrones not. again? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, technically, it is sort of Game of Thrones-ish in a way, right? Yeah. I mean, we just went through a civil war. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> and then after uh, the giant feast, um, they went to uh, take a bath. You know, mm-hmm. the king and everybody. Um, different baths, luckily, yeah. right? Although, the wall wasn't too high. <laughs> yeah, the wall wasn't high at all. <laughs> and Cobra, the fact that he was like, yeah, they're right over there. Like, wow. <laughs> yeah, right? I think he was wanting to peep on Nami. But still, it's yeah, like, know, right? you should Your be... Your daughter is over there, yeah, too. Yeah, you should be the, the king. example <laughs> of these young, immature men. <laughs> I know, right? Uh, it was funny, like, Nami... Uh, sort of peeping, and then Nami's like, "Okay, it's gonna be a hundred thousand uh, from each of you for a look." And I'm like, "Wow, get your money, girl! Mm-hmm. Never, never stop with the money, right?" <laughs> and everyone gets knocked out from that look. Yeah, bombshell. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> but um, seriously, then they get a little serious at the end of it, like where the king takes some time to he bows, he bows down to them and thanks mm-hmm. them, and everyone's like, "I don't think she should be bowing to us," you know, or still criminals yeah you know you're the king <laughs> you know, exactly but I, I like that actually yeah i mean they did go through a lot to save his kingdom mm-hmm. and his people and save him too yeah and save him they i mean a couple of them almost died honestly yeah. so yeah if i mean it technically wasn't for, almost everybody died if it wasn't for them yeah mm-hmm. things would have gone very wrong absolutely so, i mean the whole everyone would have died technically like i mean the civil war and then the the bomb happening, and then that kind of made things way worse, too. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. So, um, the Marines know that the crew is there, so they are planning to leave, you know, as soon as they can. Mm-hmm. There's new bounties Ooh. on uh, Luffy Ooh. and now on Zoro, too. Yeah. Uh-huh. I'm a little mad that the rest of the people didn't get bounties. <laughs> right? so it's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Enjoying that not everyone else didn't put work in? They did. I guess they weren't as public as the rest. That's true. Cause, I guess. Because Zoro beat no, Mr. One, yeah, Mr. One. who's mm-hmm. super notorious. Mm-hmm. And so I guess people witnessed that. Yes. And that's how he got a bounty. Yes. Which is dope. I think he deserves the honor of the bounty. That's, that's <laughs> a good point. I mean, it, like he did like a, like one of the most badass things of like mm-hmm. cutting a guy with steel, right? And I mean, he's just been that guy too. I mean, he broke out from episode two onwards, you know, from a Marine Marine base, right? That's some pretty pirate gangster stuff, right? Mm-hmm. So, yeah, sixty million, you know, it makes a lot of sense. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And now Luffy's a hundred million. Ooh, big, big baller. All right, uh-huh. all right. So, I mean, which is really nice. And then uh, Crocodile, he was at seventy million. So, yeah, it, it makes a lot of sense that he did. He got a high bounty. Yeah. Yes. He got a promotion. Ooh, big promotion, right? <laughs> and then. Um, um, you know, they spend a the night, but then they leave very early in the morning um, mm-hmm. to go on a ship. And um, they come up with a plan with Vivi, mm-hmm. which uh, we're going to learn a little bit more about. Um, where they're supposed to meet at the other side of 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 the country at 12 o'clock. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Yeah. So she has 12 hours to think if she wants to come with them or stay. Oh, boy. I wonder what oh she's going to do. Boy. Yeah, right? <laughs> Man, um, and this part like sort of got me too, but um, yeah, you know, like I, the full on waterworks are about to come a little bit later on, and then also uh, we got to see like we got to see the Marines and we get to see some mm-hmm. two old frenemies, yes. I guess. Yeah, we got to see Django, Django, right? Django, <laughs> I'm not done singing my song. There we go. <laughs> That's for you, Django. Django is now Marine Sergeant. I forgot about Django yeah, here. That is. I, I was shocked. Know. I I was very surprised. Yes, I didn't think he was gonna become. Call him Django the Traitor. 
Django the Traitor. Django the Traitor. Yeah. I was like, wow. I mean, well, yeah, I mean, he yeah. is a Marine now, right. so. <laughs> and then also we get to see Full Body, who somehow still has a job. Yeah. You know, I would have thought he'd been fired or, you know, would have wanted to go do other things at this point. But he's like, yeah, he's working, and apparently they're really good. And they work with um, the the commander, Hina, who mm-hmm. we had to see a little bit of before. Yes. Yeah. Uh, she's Captain Hina. Yes. Uh-huh. So we we get to see the crew uh, on their way to their boat or where they last left their boat with the supersonic ducks, you know, the fastest animals of the land. You know, it's the mm-hmm. best way to travel the desert. Mm-hmm. And... Uh, we and we get to see what the crew is thinking about uh, before they get there, and Nami's sort of sad. Yeah, she's sad. I thought it was because of Vivi. I mean, I thought day. so too. And then she said, "Like, oh, we didn't get the reward wow. for Vivi." And wow. I'm like, wow, wow. I thought you guys were like homies. <laughs> I know, <honestly>. <laughs> right? Because like at first I was like, "Yeah, it makes sense that she's the most sad," but oh well, <laughs> get that money, mm-hmm. <laughs> right? Other. Yeah, there's a point that you like supposed to get money, uh, and then uh, they make it to where the boat's supposed to be, but the boat's not there. It's actually taken by Mister Two of all people. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. So we get a little bit more of Mister Two. Hmm. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> he, apparently, he took it because they're all friends. Uh-huh. <laughs> well, that's what he claims. He says. He, if he didn't take it, the Marines were going to find it. So he was trying to help. Really smart, though. I mean, hey, yeah. really good. But then Zoro is, like, just really perceptive. He's like, yo, man, you did this because you need to get out of <laughs> yeah, here, too. Yeah, you need like, a ride. <laughs> it's like, maybe. <laughs> At least he didn't just take the boat. True. Exactly. He could He could yeah. have been like, I got to go deuce deuce, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. But he he stayed, right? Mm-hmm. So. Yeah. He says they should unite in the name of friendship. Yeah. And it was up in Chopper and Luffy are all about it. Like, Yay, <laughs> if you're friends, then give me a yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, you know, fine. Sure, fine. Okay. <laughs> so then that's pretty much this episode. Like, they, they all leave together um, hoping to escape the Marines who are hot on their heels now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So Hina is all about trying to get them because she doesn't care. She's not like Smoker. She doesn't have the memories. <laughs> the, no. friendship. the friendship. Episode 129. Yes, 129. It all started on that day. Vivi tells the story of her adventure. Oh boy. Oh boy. Hey, prepare. Here comes some for emotions. Here comes some emotions. <laughs> yeah, this episode. Okay, so I watched this episode. Not that I'd be immune. I've seen this episode before. I remember I'll what's be about okay. to happen. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> no. I was not okay. You weren't okay. I was not okay. <laughs> I was happy I was alone in my car. But it, I, anyways, <laughs> we'll get to that point. We'll get to that point. So the episode starts and Igram has a nightmare about Vivi becoming a pirate. <laughs> and he's super traumatized, goes in to her room and to check on her. And she's like, I'm fine. Everything's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Getting ready for her. Her coronation day, mm-hmm. yeah, the day she was supposed to happen apparently two years ago, but that's when the country was in dire straits, and that's when she mm-hmm. had left actually to join Baroque Works. Man, mm-hmm. she's been through a lot. I know. So wait, so that happened two years? It was supposed to happen two yes, years uh-huh. ago. Yes, when she turned sixteen, but then oh, yeah, okay. yeah, but gotcha. then they postponed it because she left. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. She was infiltrating mm-hmm. Baroque Works. Okay. Man, like what? What? What royalty infiltrates? Yeah, <laughs> right. right? Does you you have people somebody? to do that, yeah. exactly, right? But she did that. Oh, mm-hmm. well. So she did. Uh, but um, then we go back. You know, so everything's calm. It's, you know, it looks like Vivi's going to carry out her duties. And then we go back to the pirates. And the pirates are having a horrible time. <laughs> I'm like, this is not cool, man. I'm not having a good time at all. I, I felt a little bad for them. It's like, at least they had one day for a break, but still. Or yeah. three days, technically. Luffy was out for three days. Um, so at least they had some break time. But, yeah, now they're, like, fighting the Marines uh, with Bon Clay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and, and they're <laughs> sort of uh, surrounded by a lot of ships. <laughs> yeah. But Everyone's Usopp manages to <laughs> shoot again. I still don't believe that, yeah, honestly. Right? I, How I did was like, that did something happen? else happen? Right? <laughs> <How'd that happen? laughs> he didn't believe it either, but uh, that He's cracked me. He's had two ships, not one. He two. did two? Mm-hmm. I remember the one where he shoots think, with a cannon. Because I think, um, I don't remember if it was, like, then the other one sank. Yes. The other one. Uh-huh. And that's how it went. Yes. But I remember that then he made way because he sank those that's, two ships. That was funny. And they're like, we can't escape that way because we have to go the other way. Yes. Because we have to go meet 
Vivi in <sighs> case she wants to come with. Yes. So mm-hmm. they could have escaped easier, but they didn't because of friendship. Yes. And Bonclay, he's like, you know what? I don't care what people say about me, mm-hmm. but one thing I do is for friendship. Yeah. So he's really real about that. He was. Yeah, and... Yeah, like, he was, and he makes this whole speech about it. It's like, that whole speech. Even if I stray from my code as a man and, or as or a woman. Or as a woman. Yeah. Or, <laughs> I will never stray from my code of uh-huh. friendship. Yeah. <laughs> this whole crew was crying. That, yeah. Like, like, and then, like, flowers <laughs> were falling from the sky, and I thought it was an effect. Yes. But no, it was, it was like legit somebody flowers. was, yeah, somebody oh was throwing flowers. <laughs> And, from the sky. Like, and that guy starts crying and breaking down too. Yeah. He's like this whole like that that part like got me like emotional, but then also I was cracking up and I was like, "Wow, Oda, how am I crying and laughing at the same time?" <laughs> <sighs> that and moment. then they do like a plan mm-hmm. where uh, they make it seem as if they are the straw hats, yes, right? Yes. Mm-hmm. Um, but the straw hats are going the other way. The other way. Mm-hmm. The mm-hmm. way that they need to go in order to hopefully mm-hmm. meet Vivi. Uh, if she wants to join them. So I don't know what happened here with Bon Clay. Like, is he dead? Because I know they got... They, He's not did dead. they got sunk? He's not dead. Okay, good. Because mm-hmm. I was afraid that he would just drown. Yes. After I know, right? sacrificing himself for yes. friendship. I know, right? I was like, <laughs> dang. Like, that's a true homie, but that sucks. So he got caught like that. Mm-hmm. But um, I'll just say is Bon Clay is a true homie. And like, and, like I was shocked like uh, that he would do something like that, you know, because of friendship, right? Mm-hmm. Anyways, uh, <laughs> that's a good question, though. That's a good question. Yes. Um, but then uh, we go back to Vivi, mm-hmm. and she's about to make her speech. She's supposed to be in Alabarna to make her speech. Um, and there's receivers everywhere, you know, to transponder. Snail so, amplifiers. <laughs> right? I was like, man. <laughs> How do those work? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Like, uh, I, apparently they do psychic signals to people. I I, th- I think I've seen a few comments of mm. people trying to answer the question. but That makes sense. I, I, yeah, yeah. They... Connect psychically? I guess so. <laughs> I don't yes. Know. I'm not sure if snails do this in real life. Maybe, you know, right? <laughs> We're like, huh. Maybe snails can't talk to each other. I don't know. Anyways, amplifiers throughout the whole nation, and she is supposed to give her speech in the capital, nowhere near where they're supposed to be meeting up. Mm-hmm. Um, so, you know, the rest of the Straw Hats are hearing this speech to come, and they're like, how can she be doing this? It doesn't make sense. You know, yeah. she, she wouldn't be here. She, she can't come. And yeah. the rest of the Straw Hats know that she can't come. Yeah. Um, but, you know, Luffy's like, hey, let's stick around. Maybe you know, she does. Yeah, maybe she does, right? I was I was with Luffy. I was like, let's just give her a break. Yeah. Maybe she comes after uh-huh. her speech. Exactly. Although everyone's like, the Marines are too close to us. We got to leave pretty soon. Mm-hmm. Yeah, if, you know, we can't stick around too much. Yeah. <sighs> and then Egram does the most homey thing. <laughs> you know, you thought Bon Clay was homey. Well, I mean, Bonclay's more homie than Egram, I guess, still. But, <laughs> <laughs> like, technically, he sacrificed himself. But Egram comes up and, you know, acts like Vivi making a speech into the Capitol. Yeah. Whereas we see that Vivi is not there. Mm-hmm. She actually came to the area. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she went to say goodbye while Egram, you know. <laughs> yeah, parades as her in the <laughs> yeah. in the Capitol. Yeah. And, yeah, so she, so she just went to say goodbye. She's not actually coming, uh, and my heart uh, is broken. Uh, I felt so bad for you, too. I, I really was thought like, that she was coming. I know. And Karu. I know. I was ready for that, too. I was like, dang it, man. But you knew all this time. Dang it, man. <laughs> like, I, I, I know. Like, it, some of these things, I'm like, I want to tell you, but I can't. What do you think, though? Like, because she dreams of adventure, yes. right? Mm-hmm. So what will you do? Will you fulfill your duty or would you leave for a pirate adventure? She could have taken a sabbatical, uh, I, I mean, feel. true, right? After, like, <laughs> like, working three years, like, all that, yeah, right? Exactly, right. Her but, dad is alive. Yeah, her, yeah, right. She doesn't have to be. Yeah. Yeah, but then again, if she was, like, legitimately a pirate, she couldn't probably come back to royalty. That's true. Yeah, right? I mean, yeah. as soon as she... She couldn't be a government yes. uh-huh. person. No. <laughs> Unless she gets strong and then it's like you become a warlord somehow. Yeah, she but, can be an incognito pirate. Ooh, ooh. Well, <laughs> could she... I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I know, People right? know that she's a princess when I they know. see her usually. That's what I'm thinking, yeah. too. Like, where I was like, I feel like it should have worked out one way or another, right? Maybe we can dye her hair. Yeah, you know, she doesn't have to be blue hair. And then when she comes back, then she comes blue. Like a right? ninja Yes, be like mask. chic or something like that. Yes. <laughs> something like that could be her new thing, you know? Right? Like, she is chic. You can <sighs> still make that happen, Oda. The woman of the <laughs> desert. Oh, I like this. Okay, I never even really thought about that, you know? I like that. Boom. Jossie with the ideas. <laughs> 
So, but unfortunately, she's like, I got to stay. You know, I got to help re- you know, rebuild this country. And mm-hmm. I'm like, good on you. But yeah, that's true. Like, her country really needs help, too. Yes, so. uh-huh. And she's gone through a lot to <coughs> save it. Yes. Oh, man. And she, she, she's speaking to the Straw Hats, like, over a megaphone, you know, mm-hmm. which is still connected to the amplifiers. And, you know, I, I was like, that's probably that the works. smartest thing, right? <laughs> like, I was like, probably the smartest thing to do, but all right, you know. <laughs> but... I'm glad though. I'm glad mm. that she, he, he, she she said her goodbye, yeah. and then Luffy wants to be like, "Yeah, we love you too." But you know, luckily yeah, you're always your friend. But yeah, they uh, can't. The, luckily, the rest of them were like, "No, don't don't get her in trouble, yo." Yeah, because the Marines are watching. So yeah, yes, they they can't. Yes, they want to protect her. Yes, and don't want to associate themselves with here's, her. Here's the point where the waterworks come. Here's my waterworks <gasps> mm-hmm, so. where they don't say goodbye to her. Mm-hmm. They just turn around and they show off the exes. Friendship I'm getting exes. goosebumps right now. Oh yeah. my gosh. I actually want to get this as a tattoo. I'm going to get this as a tattoo. The X. Yes, on my, on my arm. I'm going to do that. Um, I got one one, one one piece tattoo. I'm planning to get more. And that's going to be Probably the next one. Oh, yes, in that moment, nice. and then uh, the, and then boom, they do that. But then at the same time, they give them the uppercut of playing the songs <laughs> at the same time. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And they don't even just play "We Are" too, right? They play as a kid. Yeah, they play as a kid immediately in the next uh, episode. Uh, and I'm like, you can't just give me the two bestest songs. Uh. Yes. One right I after know, right? the other. I know, right? After you took them away I from know, me. I know, right? It's <laughs> just like, ouch, this all hurts. Uh-huh. And so they're playing We Are and I'm getting choked up. Oh, man, I was, I was the jig choked up. And then yeah. I just, I had to go watch We Are. Like, after yeah. this, I, I played it like four times. I was like, oh, I need to get this song. Like, legitimately. <laughs> and I love it. I love I it too. sing it along. I, I'm so happy that you did. <laughs> <sighs> and yeah, and also I want to mention that I really like Luffy's new outfit. Oh like yeah, the yeah. white robe. Mm-hmm. Really like. Yeah, I think Zoro's Zoro wearing, wearing a black one. Yeah, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. which is really nice. Like mm-hmm. I'm glad that they they change up their outfits. You know, it's not just another shonen where it's the same clothes the whole time, right? Yeah, they change it up quite a bit. I mean, mm-hmm. even Sanji's uh, undershirt, like it's it's different than like what he started with. Yeah. Yeah. So you know, even though it's still the same suit, mm-hmm. he's wearing a different shirt. So that's pretty cool. Yes. <laughs> yeah, everyone got that style on fleek. <laughs> and I even made a post um, about the Met Gala, right? Like, yeah, I, was like, I saw it. Yeah. That was a great post. Thank you. Appreciate it. the outfits in One Piece are... And you haven't even seen anything yet. Yeah, yeah. I, I just saw uh, Von Clay yes. that you included, mm-hmm. which was very on point with the Met Gala thing. All right. Theme, Am I, I feel. <laughs> right? So shout out to the homie Von, uh, Von Clay for showing us how style is done. Mm-hmm. 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 So, I mean, this is a good point to start the social question. Yes. Uh, so sad still. I'm, I'm a little choked up. But uh, <laughs> but um, the, the question I asked on our Facebook page, which is One Piece Official, and on our uh, One Piece Anime. Sorry. One mm-hmm. Piece Official is on our Facebook. Yes. One Piece Anime is our Twitter. Yes. So I asked this question on both channels. Um, and the question I asked is, would you have wanted Vivi to have joined the Straw Hats? Why or why not? I got some good answers. Um, so... On Facebook, Steven said, no, her arc was complete. She didn't really have a dream to chase like the other crew members. And she wouldn't have filled a role for the crew like a musician or helmsman like what Luffy's been needing. Uh, Totally fine with her leaving as a good friend of the crew. Plus, if she stays, we don't get that amazing goodbye scene. Oh, now I'm emotional again, right? I'm like, yeah, (laughs) I know, right? Um, uh, We got Ikiver. Sorry if I messed up your name. Uh, I want Karu to be part of Straw Hat. <laughs> He's amazing, cute, and weird. Yes. <laughs> I think we another animal uh, partner would have been cool, right? Uh-huh. That would have been cool. And we got Chopper to, to you know translate for us. So that would have been nice. Yeah. Um, we have Derek who said, uh, originally I did, but the current arc shows that she needed to stay behind. Oh, so <laughs> stuff in the future. <laughs> <laughs> Oops, sorry if that was an accidental spoiler. But, um, but anyways, future things happen but her time with the straw hats helped grow helped her grow and make important decisions that will help her kingdom grow and future arcs will will uh, be better for that she is there daniel says absolutely she had excellent chemistry with the crew and could hold her own against mid-level enemies which i yeah, she did uh, she did yeah. i mean she if it wasn't for her 
uh, the crew wouldn't have been able to find a doctor in the army. Yeah, absolutely. Right. <laughs> oh, that would Nami probably would have died. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so, uh, plus, she, she she clearly displayed her courage, compassion, and loyalty to Straw Hat, and she could have got stronger over time. So yes, and then even got some good ones on Twitter too. We got uh, good old good old classic uh, guys. Diddy Nux says, "I wonder how certain adventures would have played out with her, especially <clears throat> future arcs that you're gonna see." <laughs> um, the world government already failed her by letting a snake like Crocodile exploit the warlord system. And then how could she react knowing um, future things that are about to happen, you know, mm-hmm. what the world government's going to do? Mm-hmm. Which, I, that's a really good answer. That that yeah. one is cranking my gears in my head. Um, <laughs> and I'll do one more from Twitter. Um, Dranik19 says, as far as I'm concerned, she is a straw hat. Yes. Yes. As far as I'm concerned, she's a straw hat, too. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. So... And then wait, one more. Let me do one more. Zora D. Peace says, yes and no. <laughs> yes, because she proved how badass she could be when she was pushed to the limit. No, because joining them would have made her want a criminal in her palace uh, in Alabaster Kingdom, which is a good point. I know, but I still think she could have gone yes. incognito, yes. take a sabbatical. Or yes, something. I agree. I like you. You what you just said before actually made me think. Like you know what that could have happened. I I thought more people would agree with me. Honestly, you know I, when I, I saw the answers, I yeah. was like, huh? I can't believe we yeah. got so many no's. Yes, I know what you mean, right? I agree with you. I don't agree with you guys. I know. <laughs> I agree with you. Actually, I would have liked Vivi to be there. Another sane head would have been nice. Karu would have been there. That's yes. a bonus, right? Um, and what Karu's you said an of MVP. like her, yeah, honestly, Karu is MVP. He 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 showed what he knew what he can do, right? Mm-hmm. We needed a fast character. Yeah. There there could have been many times we needed a fast character. And Karu saved Luffy. Like he was the one to take Luffy mm-hmm. out of the boulder. Yes. On the Giants Island. Yes. Uh-huh. Like, uh huh. Was like was about to save took... Zoro on Drum Island. Uh huh. <laughs> he took the message to the king. Yes. Uh huh. Like, saved Karu? Vivi multiple saved times. Saved Vivi multiple times. Uh. And also, he's just a cool guy. He is. Right? And emergency <laughs> rations. You never know, right? <laughs> no! <laughs> I'm sorry. It's not me. It's them. Anyways. <sighs> now so, I'm sad. It's okay. Yeah. I'll get over it yes. hopefully soon. Yes, I know, right? <laughs> Episode 130, Scent of Danger. The seventh member is Nico Robbins. So we got someone else. <laughs> <laughs> this this is what? like out of Nico nowhere. Nico Robbins? I know, right? I mean, come on. I know, right? Like, I felt so played by yeah. Oda. Mm-hmm. I mean, this 25 plus episodes, mm-hmm. Oda giving me all the hints yeah. that Vivi was going to be the one to join the crew. I feel like it's been like 40 episodes, actually. I don't know yeah, right? how many. It's yeah. so many episodes. We've, yeah, right? Like, I mean, yeah, 25 in Alabasta, but like, or more actually. Uh huh. But then. Oh, right. Since yeah. we've had Vivi, it's yeah. been like. Yeah, yeah we've actually 30... been in Alabasta since 91. Yeah. 91, 92. So, yeah, that's Jeez, a lot. my God. And then Lil Garden. And then technically, like, Laboon. Uh-huh. Crazy, huh? So, yeah. Man. And then she's not coming. Right. Then we get this random Nico person. Nico Robin is coming. <laughs> got the girl with the <laughs> random weird pants yeah. all over the place. I know, right? I mean, I don't know. She left Luffy to die in the desert. True. Well, she didn't. She she she's, brought somebody. She technically saved Luffy many times. Yeah. But, but still. Still. Yes. I don't. I don't know. I, I know what you mean. I don't know. I know. It's, it, it, like, and I felt so ang- like legit when I when it, when the episode started yes. and I read the title. Yes. I mean, I already knew this because like yes, we you talked see, the uh, last episode. Uh, like the, the, the opening, opening. had yeah yes. had ruined it for yes. me. But even then, I was like, maybe it won't happen. Yes. Yeah, I know, right? Maybe that would be a play. <laughs> yeah. No. But no, it wasn't. It yeah. happened. Somehow. And I was so angry. I don't I was blame like, me. I can't believe I'm so angry about this. I don't. I mean, I don't blame you. <laughs> I actually felt a little angry myself. Like, even though, like, I know Robin now. Mm-hmm. And I think you'll you'll love her over time. Yeah, I, I feel yes. so, too. Uh, I mean, even, like, in sort of this episode, I was like, mm, she is bad, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> right. Like I, like, I like her, but... but, but <laughs> At the same time, yes, after the emotion of, like, we don't get Vivi, who mm-hmm. made sense. 
Yes. Made sense. She was the part of the squad. Yeah, she was and we so got, smart, too. We got Rico I really her. Mm-hmm, exactly. But hey, at least at least we get another smart, bad bitch woman who is who is also a sane head, which is nice. So <laughs> at the beginning of the episode, we see that Hina is angry at Smoker because... Hina's mad. Yeah, Hina is mad, <laughs> right, because she talks in third person. Uh-huh. Um, because Smoker seems happy about the straw hats getting away. Mm-hmm. Um, and we also see that she has cage cage devil mm-hmm. fruit powers. Makes sense for a cop. What is a cage cage devil fruit so, powers? We haven't seen it too much in the anime, mm-hmm. but um, what happens is like if she hits somebody, if she hits someone, then she can put a um enclosement on them. So like you know she can bind them like handcuffs. Um, so or she can like even do more things like where she she can turn her body into a cage. Got mm-hmm. it. Which can I, yeah. cage people up. So makes sense for a cop. I guess. Yeah. I mean, at this point, I think that every other fruit in the world is a devil fruit. <laughs> yeah, honestly, yeah. there's so many. <laughs> right. I know. And right. when you told me that they were banana or devil fruit, <laughs> yeah, right? Mango or devil when fruit. When you told me that they were like unique, that there was like one of whatever type of yeah. devil fruit, I was like, okay. What does that mean? Yeah. Exactly. I was like. Yeah. Yes. Probably if you go out in the forest and you find a devil fruit, there's a half half yeah, percent I know, right? chance so, right. that you, you Am I gonna be powered or <laughs> is this food that I can eat right now, right? And then it's a smooth, smooth fruit. Darn and it. you're like, No right. <laughs> I know, right? Like I, as we get to more powers, I keep thinking to myself, it's like what power do I not want to have? You know? <laughs> do I wanna turn into a dog? Maybe. Do I wanna turn into a smooth person? Maybe not. <laughs> not. Do I want to turn into a chop chop? You know, like <laughs> you think about Buggy's power, right? Yeah. Like, how does that sound now? I mean, in comparison to others, I think it's pretty cool. Okay. It's very. What's one power you don't want in uh, combat? Yes, uh, I think uh, handy. That I don't want. Uh, I mean, I don't know. Yeah. I I think smooth smooth fruit yeah. is pretty up there. Yeah. Um, I don't know if I want to turn into a bison. Yeah, yeah, I don't think I want to turn into any animal. animals. <laughs> no, I don't want it at yeah. all. Maybe, I mean, I wouldn't mind. What What does Pell turn into? Falcon. A falcon. Yeah. I wouldn't mind a falcon. Maybe That'd be cool. Actually, yeah, to be able to fly. Yeah. 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 Bison, nah. Yeah, I know, right? It was like, imagine turning into a small room, right? You you turn in your car and you're like, oh, no, I can't fit. Oh, jeez. <laughs> You know? I can't drive. Oh, you no. turn into a falcon. My hooves. Why are you driving? You wouldn't have to drive. You would fly, right? Like that's. Well, what would you do with the car if you, you're driving? You have to walk. You just. Leave you it. have to either walk or you're you're in the car, <laughs> right? What do you turn accidentally? I don't know. I don't want that. Then again, I, I I wouldn't. There isn't a power yet that I'm like I don't want that. I would take whatever I got. I'd be like, yeah, I got powers. I wasn't gonna go swim anyways. I don't really care. <laughs> and. You know, like don't get me wrong, swimming is cool. Swimming, I wish I could swim more. I want to, but yeah, we're we're hopefully gonna solve this. Yes, this summer. Yes, <laughs> yes. So, um, back in Alabasta, we see that the king is addressing the people, and you know, sort of talking about how they need to come together as people and. You know, yeah, rebuild and rebuild their yeah, country. Get past mm-hmm. like the the hurt that they got past. And we see uh, Chaka is uh, grieving for Pell, right? He's at yes. Pell's grave. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then we hear the most amazing song, the second most amazing song. <laughs> As a kid, I never <laughs> stopped searching for the treasure. <laughs> like, that, that was too much. I was like, ouch. Like, it was one thing for We Are. I was, I was uh-huh. expecting that, and that got me. But I wasn't expecting to hear this yeah, song, too. me either. I was like, really? Both yes. songs? I mean, oh. I totally enjoyed it. Me too. And... As the song played, we see everybody, everybody. in Alabasta. Dang. Yeah, we see uh, uh, you, you guys getting rebuilt. Mm-hmm. We see uh, uh, Kosa's dad and Kosa. Mm-hmm. Uh, we see the fake rebels from mm-hmm. before. Yeah, right. are They're trying helping. to chase yeah. those <laughs> asshole birds, right? Yeah. Like I was like, these birds are useless. Maybe they should go extinct. You know, like they're just jerks. <laughs> they just see. stole from everybody. Yeah. We see the pirates, the the desert pirates. Mm-hmm. We see the dugongs are still training. Hey, there you so go. They, huh? they keep, keep it up. Keep that mm-hmm. spirit going. Uh, what else? We see Eilish wants to join the Super <laughs> Sonic. Talk. I feel he deserves to. He saved the country <laughs> multiple times. That is true. Uh, that is true. He deserves at least to try. Yes. So. At least honorary. Mm-hmm. 
And then we see the pills alive. At least we get like a glimpse of it. I yes. recognize his outfit. Yes, uh-huh. so I was exactly. like, that is totally Pell. So here's my story. All right, <laughs> here's my story about Pell that I was bringing up. Right, cool. All right, first of all, how do you feel about Pell being alive? I mean, I'm glad he's alive. He okay. was willing to sacrifice yes. himself for for the country uh-huh. and all of its people. Uh huh. He was. What did he call himself? The guardian. The guardian. The, the guardian deity. Uh-huh. The guardian deity. Mm-hmm. So. Which makes sense. I mean, yeah. And if the country's rebuilding, they are gonna need somebody. Yes. You know. Mm-hmm. To so, have good people on their side, I feel. Mm-hmm. Why? How do you feel? I was mad. You were mad. Mad. Uh, don't get me that wrong. That is so mean. I know it is mean, right? <laughs> but here's my thing, right? So first off, I'm like, I, 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 I felt sad. Like I genuinely felt sad <laughs> when the bomb blew up and everyone was like, "Oh my God, he sacrificed himself." Don't get me wrong. I'm happy he's alive, but at the same time, like it, it sort of made his death not like, uh, you know, like that. Because like, he didn't really die. He didn't die exactly, right? <laughs> and then I remember, like, so like I told you, like I had a Batman story, like, um, <laughs> right? So when I watched Batman, the third Batman movie in theaters, right? Um, I was telling the guy who got me into. One Piece, Nathaniel, right? I, t- I was telling him like how I was mad because I just watched this moment, right, when uh-huh. the third Batman movie came out, and I was like, "Man, he didn't die." I was like, "I'm mad," and <laughs> and like it's like it just sort of makes it all cheap, but whatever, right? He blew up with a bomb, and it was like, "How is he gonna survive?" I don't know. Maybe he survived. Maybe he. I don't know. Anyways, it's not like he couldn't have died. You know, looking back on it, it's like it's it's, it's somewhat possible he could have did it. I don't know. Anyways. Um, well, maybe he dropped the bomb, and then he kept flying up. And he kept. But that means up. he okay. Well, okay. Well, that is very possible. <laughs> like, you got high enough, and then maybe you're like, okay, maybe this need to keep going higher, and, you know, it'll detonate at this point. Hopefully. Mm-hmm. Hopefully. <laughs> Anyways, I saw Batman, the third Batman movie, right? And he's in the Batmobile, uh, Batcopter thing. I don't know, you know? Like, he's in the flying Batmobile, like, where it's taking a bomb outside the city. And I start cracking up. Everyone else is sad. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone else is sad. I was like, I already know what's about to happen, y'all. He's not gonna die. I'm like, you think they're gonna kill him? I just saw this in One Piece. I just seen this. And then everyone's like, God, how are you laughing? You don't know what's about to happen. I was like, I just saw this. And then, and this is the premiere of the Batman movie, so yeah. I know the theater was mad at me. I was like, I'm sorry, y'all, but this just happened. And then lo and behold, Batman's still alive, and I was cracking up even harder. I was like, y'all, I told y'all, Batman's still alive. Hmm. <laughs> How do y'all feel now, huh? Batman, like Batman, could have died, but he did. I mean, don't get me wrong. I don't want him to die. Mm-hmm. I don't want Pell to die. <laughs> but I don't know. It sounds like you do. <laughs> Maybe I do. Yeah, you're right. Maybe I want him to die. But anyways, that, that's my story. That I was like, let me just hold up because we know we know Pell's alive. So, <laughs> so... I'm, I'm I'm happy you don't want Pell to die. That's no, good. Oh, why? He, he was a good guy. He's a good guy. He's don't get me nice wrong. Guy. I don't want people to die, but at the same time, if you're supposed to die, at least, especially like when it comes to anime <laughs> or just any, like media, you know, like where you're like, when people are supposed to die and they don't die. I mean, the only one that like doesn't count is Jon Snow. You know, like where I'm like, I'm happy he didn't die. I mean, I'm not a super expert, but yes. uh, since being inside this building, yes. I have heard a lot that if you don't see someone die in anime, <laughs> it's most probable that you're catching on. Uh, die. Yeah, so, so uh, like it's, it's always very possible unless you see someone die and you see the funeral be held for them <laughs> and, and them go into the ground. Exactly, right? <laughs> exactly. You know, like they're probably not dead. <laughs> probably. So, but this is a good example then. Yes. <laughs> Anyways. So, what else we see? Um, we see, yeah, that Vivi's new adventure is helping rebuild her country. Mm-hmm. And, yeah, I'm super sad about her not coming with, but I do respect that. I respect <laughs> I, that she wants to rebuild her country because I feel that. I, I salute. I'm like, good on you. Yeah. Because, I mean, I, like, I wanted her to be a part of Crew too, mm-hmm. and I would not have blamed her if she, she you know, like, and be like, yeah, you know, got, everyone else is doing their part. Cool. And no one would have blamed her, honestly, for, like, yo, do your thing. You know, go have fun for a few years and hopefully you come back when you come back. And you just came with the best idea. I'm still I'm still <laughs> cranking that in my head. I'm like, wow, that would have been so cool. What if she yeah, was like? Yeah, because then, then we could have made it a whole thing. You that would have been cool. She, people can't discover who she is. Princess Zelda and Sheik. Oh, my God. Like, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm geeking out right now. I'm like, wow, that is brilliant. Man. Anyways, so, alternate universe thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
So, yeah, we go back to the crew, and everybody's super sad about Vivi. They're, like, moping. <laughs> and I feel them. Uh, I feel their pain. Yes. And Zoro's like, hey, guys, you need to get over it. <laughs> Seriously. Man, Zoro, that, that, you, can, you can be a responsible adult sometimes. <laughs> When it counts, I guess, right? And yeah, everyone's like, he's like if of... you wanted her to come, you should have just told her. Which is true. Which is true. Yeah, I mean, don't get me wrong. You want her to be there, but at the same time, she I think she would have felt like a lot of back and forth. Like, maybe I should have helped my people. Maybe. Yeah. Like, I'm, I'm really happy with you guys, but maybe I should have been, but, you know. Yeah. But. Yeah. And they all start, like, insulting Zoro, like, <laughs> you're savage and whatnot. It's You're like a Luffy. monster. Yeah, and Luffy's like, three sword three style. Sword style. <laughs> Usopp's like, no, you, you, this is how you insult people, you know. <laughs> Four sword Four style. Four sword style. Uh, Luffy, is not the number. Uh, okay. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, Luffy. Man, from crying to laughing again. Oh, my God. One Piece, uh, every always doing it. And then, at this moment, dun, 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 dun. Mm-hmm. Turns guess. out, Ms. All Sunday was there this whole time. She was a stowaway. <laughs> like this whole time? Uh, what? What? Where was she? Nobody saw her. I know, right? Well, <laughs> I don't know. She was She was somewhere. Nobody knows. Usopp goes into emergency mode. He's like, <laughs> Emergency. <that?"> yeah. Emergency. <laughs> He's like, where'd you get this microphone from? Yeah. Nobody oh my knows. God. Sanji's it's like, funny Ooh. seeing everyone crack up because like, they're all underneath like the the banister, you know, like uh, like the the rail. Yeah. And they all like knock their heads on the rail. This is the first time I see Nami with a, a bump on her head. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> that is true. Mm-hmm. And everyone's freaking out. Chopper's hiding. Usopp's hiding. Mm-hmm. Uh, everyone's about to fight. Um, Sanji's in love, of course. Yeah. So they explain how this came about. <laughs> Turns out that she was the one who gave the king an antidote for Luffy. Mm-hmm. So that was how Luffy yes. and got she, saved from the poison. Yes. And she mm-hmm. wanted to die, actually. Yeah, that was sad. Mm-hmm. That was sad. Yes. She tells her story. She was trying to find the true Ponoglyph. Mm-hmm. Um, but since the one that she found was not the one that she was looking for. Mm-hmm. And she's been looking for it for a while, yes, right? for 20 plus years. That's a lot. Yes, and I know, right? So she's like, I went through all this trouble, helped this super evil dude mm-hmm. to try to find this, and I didn't. So she was like, I'm just going to die. <laughs> <laughs> she's hardcore, honestly. I know. She's like, I don't care about what happens to your country. I don't care about any of y'all. I uh-huh. just want this thing to happen. I just want this thing, right. and yeah. I'm going to try and make it happen for me. <laughs> oh, my jeez. You're I hardcore. don't care. <laughs> and you know, she, she explains also, like, when she, she with this true Poneglyph, what she wanted from it was to find the history of the world mm-hmm. and put it out there. Interesting. Yes. That's all I'll say. Interesting. Yes. But Luffy saved her. He was like, I don't care. I'm going to save you. Yes. You do whatever you want after. So he sort of forced her to live. So that's why he's like, you forced me to live. So now you have to accept me because I don't have anything oh, or anyone else to it's, go to. It's like, oh, we don't have to, but okay, I guess, right? <laughs> well, I mean, she does have a point. Um, yeah. True. She does have a point. Yeah, I right. Like, like, I, was tra- I, I definitely can understand like the, the straw hats being like, no, what the hell are you talking yeah. about? But yes, yeah, she does have a point too, Like where it's like, look, you took that away from me. Mm-hmm. You know, so, well, let's do something now. Also, I feel if you save somebody who wants to die, I feel like you should be a little bit more responsible yeah. on following up yeah, on right. their state. It's like, don't do that again. Okay, good luck okay, to you, right? Bye. <laughs> like, whoa, whoa, yeah. whoa, that's not how it go. Okay, whatever, yeah. right? So, so, I guess Luffy had to accept her, honestly. honestly right. <laughs> Luffy's like, and yeah, Luffy's like, okay. I agree. <laughs> and the other guys are freaking out. I mean, right? I mean, because like, they bring up a good point. Like, where it's like, yeah, you were the vice president of this evil corporation that was trying mm-hmm. to get us killed most of the time. Mm-hmm. All right. Luffy but, says, though, that she isn't really a bad person. Trust me. And I'm like, I don't know, Luffy. I know, right? Good point. But hey, at least up until now, nobody has joined the crew who he was wrong about. Yes. So... Maybe we should trust him. I don't know. I'm still not convinced. Still not convinced, guys. Okay. That's all I'll so, say. So, yeah, everybody's super mad, except, obviously, Sanji. <laughs> uh, <laughs> obviously. I know, right? <laughs> What's the problem? She's great. <laughs> it's like, wow, Sanji. What do you think about Sanji now? <laughs> oh, Sanji. Yeah, I know, right? I can't. <laughs> and then sort of, like, everybody starts, like, um, yeah, just accepting it. Yeah. Except um, for Zoro. Except for Zoro. Which yeah. I think is smart. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Like, and Usopp interviews her, and yeah. he's like, okay, what's your name? And he's like, it's like a job interview. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> so, Nico Robin, archaeologist, alone since eight, Jeez. which is pretty brutal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right? Like, when she's, when she's like, my specialty. And what's your specialty? And she's killing. killing. <sighs> okay, interview over. That's all I needed to know. <laughs> I was like, bad bitch. Whew. If you're I'm scared at a job and... interview, just make up some other skill. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Yeah. Like, not the that archaeology not part. Right? Yeah, right? No, like, it's like, okay. <laughs> uh, so Nami sells out for treasure. Right. She gives her some jewels, right? Yes, uh huh. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And Zoro and Uzup are the voice of sanity at this point, and I'm like, what is wrong with the world? Yeah, I know, right? But Uzup fell to tickles. <laughs> he was so simple. It was like, really? You just like chopper then? Yes, just, I like, know, right? Got to tickle you, and that's all. You know, sometimes I am a little surprised by Usopp. I'm like, that you're semi adult. Okay, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> it's whatever. Right. And then Sanji's like, I really like that she's older and more serious. Yeah. And I'm like, I do agree with that. Yes. She's not just... Because t- uh, Nami's like 18, right? No. Uh, yeah, Nami's 18. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Or, is she? I think so. I yeah. Think that's what we had mentioned. Yes, before. uh-huh. Yeah, she, yeah she's 18. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, she's not a young girl or anything. Which is she, nice. You know, yeah. usually in anime, they're always... She's mature. Yes, uh-huh. They're always like... 15 year olds for some mm-hmm. reason, right? So, Which I appreciate yes. as an older yeah. young woman <laughs> yes, myself. Uh, yeah, I was like, I, uh, <laughs> I said young. Yes, you okay. are. Yeah, exactly. I didn't say anything. I'm just coughing, allergies. <laughs> so, I guess I'll, we'll have to accept that. How yes. did you feel when you first saw that? Like when you were a kid yeah. or when you watched it for the first time? Yeah, yeah. Like, I, I was shocked, honestly. Like, where I was like, Nico Robin, what? <laughs> like, like she's bad. Uh-huh. But yeah, and that's how I felt. Yes, and I, I was, I was really shocked. But <laughs> I was smitten by her. I was more like Sanji in a way. I was like <laughs> Sanji and Zoro. Yes, I was like she's hot <laughs> and she's cool. But I don't trust her. But I'll, I'll, I'll accept it because she's hot. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, I'm, so, I'm so bad. She also has like that dark hair, blue eyes yes. combination. Mm, the which dark is skin, very right? cute. Exactly. Uh-huh. I'm like. Mm. <laughs> yes, uh-huh. uh, I like I, I like that. The bangs, I mm-hmm. think the bangs got me. I was like, okay, I'm with it. <laughs> but I'm still watching you. <laughs> yeah, and then uh, and we we heard how you feel about it, mm-hmm. like, and it was sort of good to go through these emotions again. I felt I felt like not watching it now. I under I definitely understand. Yeah, like everything. Where I'm just sort of like, oh. Why? Especially when we had Vivi, but mm-hmm. oh well. Pure Vivi. Oh, I know, right? And then Nico Robin, the criminal who tried to kill us multiple times. But the criminal baby yeah, since right. she was eight. <laughs> I know, right? Honestly, but yeah, she, she's hardcore for sure. Yeah. I mean, even I seeing mean, like I, the ending song, right? Uh huh. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I can't wait to like. I I know we'll probably hear more about mm-hmm. this story later on. Yes. So I know I'll probably change my mind and mm-hmm. be played by Oda again. Yes, as oh, absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> but I won't say what happens or anything. But yes, we did see. I think we see it in a couple more episodes mm-hmm. where the ending changes, and it's about. Uh, Tiny Robin yes. being all alone mm-hmm. by herself. So I feel a little bit sorry for yes, her. Yes, uh-huh. she's been through quite a bit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So these two episodes were just full of oh, so many emotions, emotions and tears. And yes. uh, my dog looking at me weird. Yeah. Why are you crying, Mom? <laughs> right. Because I want you to happy cartoon, and girl. sad tears. <laughs> yes, I know, right? I told you it's only going to get worse, honestly. Like, you think these are like beginner tears honestly right, right. No. which, which you, i'm shocked you know it got me but i like i know like there's gonna be some moments later on that like tears are gonna roll down my face when i watch this moment like the tears like welled up but then you know i guess i do like my man perk of like being able to suck my tears back in my head right <laughs> i'm like okay i'm good i'm good i'm good here it's like oof that hurt that hurt it anyways <laughs> moving on Moving on. So now we get to the filler arc, actually, or mm-hmm. filler segment. I think it was really well done. I think this segment was really well done. Like, mm-hmm. where, like it didn't really feel like filler. I felt yeah. like we were really expounding on the characters that we've been knowing and even had some interesting stories along the way. So, yeah. yeah. Episode 131, The First Patient, The Untold Story of the Rumble Ball. Mm-hmm. So yeah, it's pretty nice. Like, yes. So yeah, they're they're filler, um, which 
it's a little bit of a bummer, but I think they did it in such a good way where I actually believed, like, especially when I first watched it, I didn't know what they were feeling. Mm-hmm. I thought they were like, oh, this makes sense. Yeah. And like, uh, we're learning about the characters, but they don't happen in the manga. Mm-hmm. So that's why they're filler, but they got the blessing. So that means, like, they yeah. they sort of are, they're still good to have. Yeah, they still have uh, accurate information, mm-hmm. yes. right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yes. Um, and I like that, like, every, the next few episodes is about someone. Yes. Like, it's... Individuals. It's so. individuals. Yeah, yeah. Uh, like so that. I really like that. And not Luffy. You know, like, which is yeah, nice. exactly. Uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. So that was pretty cool. So um, the crew, <laughs> the crew uh, get to an island, mm-hmm. and they're like, "Yeah, we need to get some food because mm-hmm. that's what we need to do always." You know, which makes sense. I guess they had yeah. to. They're on the run. Yeah, they're on the run, and yeah. uh, they they need to, you know, see if there's anything on this island, and we get to learn a little bit about um, everybody. Actually, I guess like, so. Nami, she's like, I gotta do my thing of charting islands, which mm-hmm. is nice. Yeah. Like, I, I was a little worried that she didn't do that anymore. Yeah, you know, which would make sense. Mm-hmm. Um, so she goes on the island, and then also on the island they find this fruit, which looks like a pineapple with a straw in it. Yeah, which I was like, I want some of that. <laughs> that sounds tasty. Uh, so she sends everybody to go check out, uh, to go get collect fruit, and Chopper has to go stay on the boat mm-hmm. um, and protect it. Mm-hmm. He's, I, I liked how he was so cute about that. I was yeah. Like, Dang it, he's so cute. He is. And then he starts, like, doing as a captain. Yes. And giving orders, <laughs> tiny orders. He's like, uh, <laughs> like, I didn't think I'd be swayed by your cuteness, Chopper, but darn you, I'm swayed. I'm with you. Yeah, but turns out he's not alone. Nico Robin was there, of course, because nobody pays any attention to her. I Which is sort of weird. I'm like, yeah. you guys should be bringing her on you with someone... The whole time, you know? Like, you yeah. want what happened with Nami to happen again? Exactly. Mm-hmm. Exactly. She could just steal the boat. Absolutely. But, oh, well. She's just reading her book. Just chilling. Mm-hmm. All right. But Chopper's freaking out. He's like, yeah. oh, my God. <laughs> you're here. I don't trust you. I don't know. No, 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 you know. <laughs> which, which I'm like, oh, so cute. Mm-hmm. But. <laughs> and then he goes into the, like, into the cabin. Mm-hmm. And he starts, like. Thinking about maybe he should eat a rumble bowl yes. or do what, and then yeah. she comes in yes. and he freaks out even more. Yeah. And she's just making herself some coffee yeah, you know, in right. this super complicated Italian. Uh, yeah, right, the <laughs> Italian press or whatever. Press, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Right? <laughs> I, like it looked tasty too. I was like, I want one of that. <laughs> Jeez, like I don't even drink coffee like that, but I, I'm, I'm with it. <laughs> yeah, Nico Robin, she is, she is exquisite. You know, like. <laughs> like like I mean, just everything she does is just sort of fancy, you know. Yeah. Fancy with the air, but she doesn't. She doesn't lord it over people, which is nice, right? But uh, she's just listening to Chopper tell his story about like how he learned how to make rap- rumble balls, which he's mm-hmm. just telling himself, I guess. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just sort of funny. Um. Mm-hmm. So and she's just listening, you know, while she's making her coffee. Mm-hmm. Chopper doesn't realize it, and he freaks out, and then he's like, "Oh my God, I don't trust you. You're gonna learn all about my secrets." So he eats a rumble ball. Yeah. <laughs> he's a rumble ball and he's like, I got to fight. But he's just screwing up the whole time. Mm-hmm. He's just too on edge and he ends up bouncing around the whole ship and breaks a water jug. Bad chopper. Bad. Uh-huh. <laughs> we need water chopper. Mm-hmm. So they have to go get more. Mm-hmm. And Robin, uh, Nico Robin comes with. And he's like, you broke it. You got to go do yeah, it. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Um, and while they're uh, on this mini trip Mm -hmm. to get water, he starts telling her about his first patient, who was Dr. Kareha. Nice. Interesting story. Mm -hmm. I like this story, actually. Yeah. So then then Dr. Kareha gets sick because um, one of her patients accidentally gets her sick. Mm -hmm. Um, And, you know, sort of fatal. Would be fatal. But it's like a test for Chopper, which is really Mm -hmm. good. So Dopper, uh, Chopper, that's a dop, Dopper, <laughs> Dr. <laughs> Chopper, right? <laughs> yeah, this is his first time to like really try out what he has learned with Dr. Correa the first time. Um, and he's freaking out the whole time, but you know, he gets coached by yeah. Dr. Correa, which is nice. Mm-hmm. And um, like it's, it's, it's cute, you know, like where it's like, good. This is like where he starts to get his confidence. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, and we see he was a very good student. Like he, because he was sort of, before she got sick, he was experimenting mm-hmm. with uh, the medicines, yes. and he had read, like, every single book. Yes, and this is also um, where he learned how to make the rumble ball, because he made it accidentally just yeah. stealing, like, a lot of ingredients. Exactly. Uh-huh. Um, so that was a cool part, yeah. And then uh, they go back uh, and rejoin the crew, and they're all sitting uh, around a campfire, and Nico Robin is apart, just reading her book mm. with a little flower. Mm. I didn't notice that she was... Uh, 
but that's right. She seems more sophisticated. Yes. You know, she has mm-hmm. her little flower in a mm-hmm. cup, the water. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I feel that. I like that. Yeah, me too. I was like, mm, I like that. You know, mm-hmm. Nami, I'm like, don't get me wrong. <laughs> Cute, but mm, I couldn't deal yeah. with the money grubbing and you know, yeah. the having a trust and all that, right? Nico Robin seems like smart sophisticated. Mm-hmm. and smart. Like, she actually, you can, I mean, she reads, yes. right? So she can hold a conversation. Yes, uh huh. I'm interested, yes, maybe, quite literate. Mm-hmm. in talking to her yes. at some point mm-hmm. if I could. Yes, I, I would like to see that <laughs> happen. Yes, uh, that'd be pretty cool. And yeah, they, the crew asked Chopper how was his day alone. <laughs> And he says it was fun, which I was like, oh, that's a nice thing. Because, yeah, yeah yes. Robin is all by herself, even though she's uh, surrounded by people. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> but if anything, it's more like she, she's just sort of like letting them all like come to her whenever mm-hmm. they're ready. So Yeah, which nice. makes sense. Yes. It's the smart thing to do, I mm-hmm. feel. Versus mm-hmm. try to put yourself on them. Mm-hmm. Cool. Well, we're going to go on a break right now. Stay tuned. Welcome back to One Piece at a Time. My name is Godzilla and Ugwa. My mission statement is to finally learn that song as a kid. <laughs> I never stop. Yeah, you know, like I feel like now's the time now because I thought like that song was in the past. I'm done with it. And then this whole episode, I'm like, oh, this hurts. Came back. No, I got I got We Are. We Are is down pat. Like if you go to karaoke with me, I got you. <laughs> this song. Yeah, we I'm, have to do that. Yes, yes. I definitely would like to do that with you. <laughs> well, my name is Jocelyn M. Rios, and my mission is to read more books. Ooh. I feel inspired by Nico Robin. And Ooh. I used to read a lot, and I feel I haven't yeah. lately. Uh, so get on that. Like I need to get on that. I, I read when I brush teeth. Huh? I read when I brush my teeth. Really? Yeah, yeah. I read like a page or two. And I have like an automatic toothbrush, like a uh-huh. electric toothbrush, so it turns off or, you know, it gives me a warning at three minutes. So I just, you know, that's not hard. You know, just go back and forth. Mm-hmm. Thinking yeah, maybe that's why my teeth are bad. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, I floss and brush and all that, right? But, you know, I read one at that time. So So you spend like three minutes reading every day? That's mm-hmm. a good practice, yeah. mm-hmm. actually. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's so nice. That's how I got through. That's how I get through books because... You know, otherwise, it's never going to be a time. Sit down sure. and read when I could be watching anime. <laughs> <laughs> also, don't forget, you can watch anime on uh, Funimation now. We have all the episodes of One Piece uh, subbed, and then we have up to episode 574 English dub um, on our website. You can find that at Funimation.com slash One Piece. And then you can also watch anime on the Funimation Now app. So we have it on your phones, on your PlayStation, Xbox, Roku, mm, whatever. TV. You, yeah, TV, you know. Um Check it all out. And then don't forget to check out our blog, um, the One Piece Podcast blog, which is at funi.to slash One Piece Podcast. And we have all the information on our podcast episodes, our binge routes, and we have our maps finally up and yes. more. Episode 132, Uprising of the Navigator for the Unyielding Dream. Mm. So this is Nami's episode. Yeah. It's like, who's the navigator? Huh? Mm-hmm. <laughs> right? <laughs> right? <laughs> like, who could they be talking about? Mm-hmm. But uh, this this one, um, I think it was pretty nice. Like, it, yeah. it gave me a little bit more um, awareness of, like, Nami being, like, going on her dream and also the, her importance, too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And we, I think this is the first time after the whole Arlong bit that we... Are reminded that this is super important yeah. to her. I legit forgot. Mm-hmm, me yeah. too, because I mean, so many other stuff <laughs> happened. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, this is being in the best navigator and charting the whole sea has always been her thing. Mm-hmm. And here we are reminded that that is still a priority for her, which is nice. Mm-hmm. You know, she's not all about money. Yeah. This is also important. Too. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> right. It's maybe a. 60-40. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Money is still number one. I don't want to say one. half and half. No, no, no. no. Money is number one because if, if, if this was important, we would have been hearing about it more. Hey, guys, we need to get some, some paper. paper, right? Exactly, right? Speaking of I'm paper. I'm out of ink. Right? Exactly. We, I hadn't heard that once, right? Maybe she's been responsible this whole time. She hasn't had to worry about running out of ink. True, but at the same time, true. At the same time. And to be fair. Like ever since Al, um, so we got to a little garden. Or we so after Arlong Park, we went to Reverse Mountain, and then we went to Grand Line, and it has been nonstop. So we went to uh, uh, Reverse Mountain, then we went to um, Whiskey Whiskey Peak, and then Whiskey Peak was like, go go go, we got to go to Alabasta. Oh my God, I'm sick, I'm about to die. Oh my God, we're gonna die. We're, oh, Civil War. Ah! Yeah. <laughs> so yes, to be fair, that that all true, has happened. True. 
So now we have a finally a normal nice day. Mm-hmm. It's time to catch up on that. Yes. Ch- just chill, all right? Just chill. The Zoro's bo- training. Mm-hmm. The guys are fishing. Mm-hmm. And something super funny happens. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, they, this whole scene. They catch a giant snail and it has somebody inside. Mm-hmm. He's a transponder snail man. Wow. Which is basically a... Um, I don't know how like to call it. Like a door-to-door it. salesman. Yes, right? a uh, door-to-door salesman, oh but gosh. from the sea, I guess. I guess, right. <laughs> like, uh, how does that, that work? Does I, he just wait to be uh, caught no, by a ship, or I, does he visit ships? I, I feel like he should visit. I don't know. Maybe the, the thing, like, walks. I don't know. <laughs> and he sells through catalogs, yeah, just right. like a regular I was like, where's he keeping all that? But <laughs> I was like, good on you, right? Uh, like uh, that, that whole thing actually sort of cracked me up. I was like, yeah. okay, you got your shake weight right here. You got your, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, <laughs> you got your exercise equipment uh-huh. over here, right? You know, the, the, the bunny. One I like that the... they do a lot. Um, the one where you can make bowls out of bacon. And stuff. Oh yeah, 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 uh, yeah, yeah. So I was like, wow, this is great. Like all this stuff right here, like yeah. as was, seen on TV. Yeah, like exactly as seen on TV. Like Billy Mays here, right? <laughs> I'm like this guy was Billy Mays on on uh, substance. Um, yeah, and he had all the lines like uh, "Guaranteed, if you act now, I'll throw in this I was paperweight for twenty nine thousand berries." Right, I was like, "That is all like a bad deal, baby." Was, <laughs> That's a good deal. Wow, you know, it's like that, that makes a lot of sense. And like for me, I was I was actually being taken in by this stuff, mm-hmm. which which cracked me up. Uh, this guy was pretty funny. So then Nami was like, you know. Everyone actually sort of wanted something. Mm-hmm. Nami wanted a uh, paper. Yes. Yeah. So, just as we mentioned, like it's like finally Nami wants something, right? For, mm-hmm. for charting, she's like, I want paper so I can go charting. Yeah. This guy and wanted, it's super good. Yes. Paper. Apparently, really good uh-huh. paper that doesn't tear. But at the same time, I was like, what, 40, 40, how much? Mi- Forty-eight million berries God. for one ream, which is. A lot. Is this paper going to cure my cancer? Because <laughs> right? I just got cancer hearing that price right there. And, you know, that, that was sickening. And Sanji's all ready to give up Luffy to buy <laughs> that paper, cracks me. Buy paper for Nami. Uh, I'm like, really, uh, I'm like, you're He's your captain. jerk, right? <laughs> A dick, but like I was, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so luckily, accidentally for paper. I know, right? <laughs> well, whatever Nami wants, you gotta do it. I'm like, wow. You're a jerk, but um, <laughs> uh, he hears that they're pirates, and mm-hmm. uh, does it not does any pirates? It's Straw Hat, Muller Effin, Monkey Dude, Luffy, and he's scared. So he <laughs> he ditches all his stuff, and, and he just dips. leaves. Yeah, which sort of makes sense to me. Although, wait, well, that's bad on him for not paying attention to where he was. You know, like I think the first. Thing I mean, was, come on. Yes. There's a flag. Exactly. The sails right? have the symbol. Exactly. You don't <laughs> do your whole pitch and bring everything out and be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then it's like, oh, they're pirates. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. You're right. Deuces. I mean, oh, worked out. They got now. free paper. All right. And if they were any other pirate, they would have just taken it. Anyways. Absolutely. <laughs> like they're like, yeah, that sounds great. We're gonna take that and probably kill you. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Keep your snail. Exactly right. <laughs> Use that for food in the future. I don't know. Escargo is cool. <laughs> Anyways, they're oh. nice guys, and they were wa- they were willing to pay. They were about to pay. Mm-hmm. Oh well, whatever. His loss. Exactly. Anyways. So Nami retires to work on her map, and she's super excited. I, I love this part because I feel that's how I work. Like, yeah. I just sit down and put all my paper in my coloring <laughs> stuff, yeah. and I'm ready to color code everything. Wow, good <laughs> on you. Like, my desk is, I'm like, I'm just trying to, I push things to, you know, I'm like, there's a little bit of space here. All right, make a little room. Uh-oh, about to disrupt this mountain of crap that's in everywhere. <laughs> so, I mean, I was like, wow, that is super clean. I don't know how she did that, but. Wow, one day I should be like that. <laughs> but anyways. <laughs> so, um, yeah, she's super ready mm-hmm. and to work on, because they've been to a lot of places. Yeah. And she, since a lot of things have happened, she hasn't had the chance to chart them all, like all of Alabasta and I'm Little Garden and all of that stuff, yeah, right? Uh, <laughs> and that's some pretty talented stuff. I was like, wow, you remember all this stuff? Because I barely remember. Oh, where were we? Right? <laughs> The one place with the cactus, right? <laughs> yes. But the guys are being super noisy. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I know, right? It's funny enough, Sanji, who was like, don't bother her. And then he gets into an argument with Zoro for some reason. And they start fighting and causing the most ruckus. <laughs> mm-hmm. And then Luffy breaks her stuff. Yes. And she's super mad. Yes. She's like, stay away or I'll fine you 100,000 berries each. <laughs> My jeez. That's a little expensive Steep, right? for, for noise. For friends, right? Yeah, uh-huh. but okay, I mean. 
So then I guess all, that's the way they understand. I, I know, right? I, yeah, right. You gotta do it the way they understand. <laughs> I'm surprised that they actually pay her, but okay, all right. You'd be like, you're my person. You, know, you pay me. Anyways, uh, they, like there's a, a giant, like she said, like at first she's like, don't bother me unless there's like the rain, the weather changes. But then um, she's like, don't bother me at all. Mm-hmm. And I'm mad. So then the rain, the weather starts to change. The only one who wakes up is Chopper because he can smell the weather is changing. Mm-hmm. Um, and then the dudes are waking up. I was like, I was like, Chopper, just try harder, man. You're about yeah. to die, right? Because <laughs> right in front of them was a giant water spout, uh, cyclone. And I was like, but at the same time, it's like, doll, that's so cute. Like, uh-huh. I remember, like, when he's I. He's just afraid to yes. make her mad. And I'm like, oh, you're so cute, but I you're going to die if you don't do <laughs> I know, right? Like, I was like, I feel like this is what was me as a little boy, where I'm like, <laughs> but mommy said not to bother her, but I, I, the, the kitchen's on fire, but she said not to bother her. What do I do? So he's just sitting down, and just yeah. watching impending Aww. doom, right? And I was like, dang, I, even though that's really stupid, Chopper. <laughs> I feel that I probably was like that too oh so. uh, yes Anyways, but Nami she, comes out mm-hmm. so yay and saves the day mm-hmm. yay and then it's like okay well I'm here with these guys <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah so pretty nice episode funny mm-hmm. pretty funny yes. Uh pretty chill which is nice nice pace change of pace uh, especially like with the, ro- the roller coaster emotions we've been going through and also all Alabaster which has been just Pretty much go, go, go. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's nice to have a breather mm-hmm. and just, you know, see fun stuff Yes. for a bit. Absolutely. Not worry about civil war. <laughs> <laughs> Golly, heavy, 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 heavy. For all you collectors out there, episode of Saba is now available on Blu-ray and DVD, so you can now watch it dubbed for the first time. Adventure of Nebulandia is also up for pre-order. It'll be coming out on June 18th, dubbed for the first time. These and all other episodes we talked about are available on home video at the Funimation shop on our website. So be sure to check those out and add one piece to your shelf. Episode 133, A Recipe Handed Down, Sanji the Iron Man of Curry. <laughs> I like this episode a lot, the Iron <laughs> Man of Curry. Too. I'm just imagining Tony Stark right here. Right? <laughs> Me too. <laughs> I didn't even think about that until that. right now. Right? Oh I was my like, god! When Iron I read Man. that, I was like, "He's the Iron Man of Curry." Dun, <laughs> I imagine him just dun, flying. Dun, yeah. Dun. I mean, he technically did fly this time. Doing right? the thing with right. his hand. <laughs> right. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. It's just curry. It's not fire. It's curry coming out, right? <laughs> oh my god! I, I never even thought about that. <laughs> I like this episode a lot. I did too. I, I did was too. so hungry watching this episode, mm-hmm. and I was like, you know what? One thing I do want to do, I want to cook. The stuff based off of like what they said. Yeah. Because the way they ex- they explain everything in this episode. Yeah, it's a full recipe. Absolutely, and that was amazing. I was like, God, oh. mm-hmm. we'll get to it. It felt like an episode of Iron Chef. Yes. Or uh, Chopped. Yeah, there you go. Uh-huh. Like this could have been Food Channel stuff right yeah. here. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> Maybe Food Channel needs to get Food Network, right? Food Network, right? They need to get some mm-hmm. anime, uh, some anime. Uh, and then he put this on there. Mm-hmm. And also on this episode, I've noticed that the animation has evolved a little bit. Mm-hmm. I'm not sure how much time after Alabasta did. Was this a new season or? Sort of. It was a new season, but. But it just went on. Yes. Okay. Uh, and also, yeah, I did, yeah, so it was like, this is 2002 when mm-hmm. this all came out. Yeah, which is crazy. So, wow. Yeah, I know, right? Like, they did like a really good job. But also, sometimes they have guest directors come mm-hmm. on. Yeah, especially for. Um, filler episodes like this, yeah. but like even more I important noticed, like the water sparkled differently. Yes, yeah, so, everything like, just oh, hit better. That, yeah. yeah, that's yeah. that's and interesting. I, I agree. Like it, like everything just sort of looked a little bit more crisp, um, a little differently. But yeah, sometimes they get guest directors to come on, okay. and I bet this one had a guest director. Maybe when you bring back Jonna, because she she's the the yeah the she's queen the expert that. on exactly. that. Yeah. I, I didn't even know of her things that she brought up last time, <laughs> but um. Yeah, but that's a great point that you brought up. So, yeah, 2002, 2003. And um, the crew is, you know, they're still doing their thing, and they're they're sailing through some thick frog fog. Mm-hmm. Not frog. No, frog. Right. <laughs> right. Thick frogs. Thick frogs. Oh, oh, big frogs they're everywhere. In the ocean. These thick frogs. <laughs> Dummy thick. And <laughs> but, uh, no, fog. F-O-G. And uh, for some reason, there's a marine fleet that's inside this fog. They're not mm-hmm. moving. They're just chilling inside the fog. Mm-hmm. Um, 
and they're about to crash into them, but like they're like, let's sneak p- past these guys, right? Yeah. Um, and they see a cook, uh, like a, a kid chef, you know, uh-huh. <laughs> intern cook. Uh, yeah, I, like I call him an intern. <laughs> I like that. He's like. He's not the real cook. Yes, yeah, so, uh, I like that intern. I like that. <laughs> His intern, intern. <laughs> you know, like he he's about to like uh, rat on them. Yeah, which makes sense, honestly. I mean, that's what a marine is yeah, supposed to do, right? Exactly. But he's he's dumb and he falls over. <laughs> mm-hmm. I mean, oh well, he falls over. Yeah, he falls over, and uh, luckily um, he's he's saved. Yeah, Robin takes a hand. Out of the <laughs> ship. <laughs> a magic hand. Yeah, I know, right? And saves him. Is his name Tangio? Or does it just sound like Tangio? It sounds like that. I forget what his name is. Mm. Uh, I, I didn't catch it quite well. Yeah. And I don't think they call him by his name a lot. Not really, yeah. Like, there's a few <laughs> times they call him by his name, but... Yeah. Um, yeah, not often. So, he explains that he spilled the curry for the dinner. Dun, dun, for the dun, marine dun. dinners. Like, every... Every week. Every week, mm-hmm. yeah. A different ship cook mm-hmm. makes the curry, and it was their turn, and he spilled it, and now he has to make it. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> but, yeah, he's yeah. not so sure that he can do it. No. <laughs> Which, I mean, I, w- I would be freaked out, too, especially if you had – he hadn't made other food on the ship yet. He's just mm-hmm. only been dishwasher. And then also, this is supposed to be, like, for high-level officers mm-hmm. that are supposed to be getting this curry. So, yeah. Um, Man, like uh, it's a it's a big deal, mm-hmm. and I get that. Yeah, he he explains that his dream is to see the all blue, and Sanji's like, turns his head, you know. He's like, I'm not feeling anything. Uh huh. Exactly. Or maybe I feel it, right? So I know that Sanji wants to help him, but he doesn't want to say that he wants to help him. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so he's like, I'm coming with you on board just to check out to the marine equipment, ship. right? Yeah, like, see the really, equipment yeah. in the kitchen. All right, bring him and back. Luffy's like, I'm coming along <laughs> because adventure. And I'm like, Luffy, you should just not come I know, because right? it's a pi- it's a marine ship. Yes, and. Or something always goes oh, wrong. Trouble is only going to happen. Yeah, exactly. when you're exploring, something goes wrong. Exactly right. Always. And he doesn't care, obviously. Funny enough, like luckily not too much trouble happens. But yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. But uh, yeah, all three of them go. So uh, and also his name is Tajio. Tajio. Yeah, Tajio. Without so, yeah, the N. Yeah. So you pretty close. Mm-hmm. Pretty close. Yes. Um, like I, I was like, it, it, Tajio sounds pretty good to me. But anyways, um, Sanji goes with Tajio to. See what's about to happen, right? He just he's just observing, like uh-huh. how he's cooking, <laughs> and sort of going through his own memory lane of being the dishwasher uh, turned chef, um, and is sort of giving him, like you know, just sort of looking and just sort of giving cryptic advice. Yeah, mm-hmm. like just sort of a little grunt, Sarah. Yeah. Like, hmm. This apple tastes good. Hmm. This fire. My hair just got singed. <laughs> 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 right. I guess he. Uh, which does give a good point. It's like, why doesn't he just go tell him? He could just tell him. Nobody's there. Mm, I know, right? But <laughs> And he realizes, like, the the intern realizes what he's doing. He's mm-hmm. like, he's definitely helping me out. Which, which is nice. <laughs> which also, I, I, like, I wonder, like, which is more fulfilling to, to be told, like, nah, mm-hmm. you should do this. For me, I personally would want someone to be like, hey, you should do this versus me sort of figuring out and getting screwed, right? Yeah. Um, and... I think the curry comes out wrong. It's sort of weak, and mm-hmm. Sanji gives him the answer again. Mm, this apple tastes really exactly. good. Exactly. <laughs> Which I was like, apples and curry? Wow. This this whole episode, like, they, they the way that they're preparing the food uh-huh. was amazing. I mean, yeah. just, like, seeing him, like, peel chopping. the tomatoes and, like, yeah, like, chopping the stuff. And, and doing the X on the tomatoes before boiling <sighs> them so that you can peel them I was like, that's better. high level. Like, uh-huh. I was like, wow. I would have ever... I've, <laughs> blew my head. I was like, damn. The way he was uh, per- preparing the, the garam masala. You know, oh, like, yeah. I was like, ooh. I'm crushing it. Ooh. Mm-hmm. Fresh garam masala. I've never seen that before. Me either. Man, I was like, I'm hungry now. Yeah, I want some curry now. Mm-hmm. I love curry. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> me too. Right? I was like, mm, maybe maybe I need to go get some of this. <laughs> and, you know, Sanji's, Sanji helps make good curry. Mm-hmm. Like he's he's thinking in his head like, hmm, that's not going to work out if he does this, if he rushes this, or if he doesn't put this in. Hmm. And he just he's just hinting the whole time, which is nice, mm-hmm. which allows Tajio to remember what he has learned accidentally or, you know, by the side. Um, and it's nice. It, apparently, the, the curry tastes good. Mm-hmm. Yay. And then I think before leaving, Sanji tells him that his dream is also seeing the all blue. Yes. So they have like a that 
tiny connection, yes. which is nice, yes. I think. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It, it is nice. And it, it's nice that Sanji was being sort of big bro. Yeah. Yes. Uh-huh. Mentor. <laughs> yes. Ment- yeah, being a mentor for sure. Mm-hmm. And it's like, hey, man, go for your dreams. Mm-hmm. That was a really nice episode. Yeah. Man, I got, it, it, they just did a really good job of uh, giving more background to, to Sanji while also making like this whole food episode. Yeah. And it had every right to be boring. Yeah. But it wasn't. It I wasn't. was I was like, wow, so that's how you do that. Yeah, right. And he chopped every ingredient and we could hear the sounds of the cooking. Almost Man. smell it. <laughs> I mean, I felt like I was about to eat it. I was like, yeah. Man, even just talking about it now, I'm like, ugh. And then a marine spots Luffy, so they have to leave. Yeah. And he slingshots himself and Sanji <laughs> to back to their boat. And he obviously crashes Sanji oh, onto poor Sanji. the Boat. Good thing he's a monster. <laughs> <laughs> and Sanji, he's like, I'm sorry, Sanji. Well, you don't mean sorry. <laughs> you don't mean it. Oh, man. I, and I feel he's like he's like, been doing that's it why I'm sorry. <laughs> 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 because he doesn't mean it. <laughs> oh, that <laughs> that cracked me up. <laughs> yeah, right. I was like, wow, well, you're, you're, at least you're honest. Mm-hmm. Oh, at least you tried. Yeah. Anyway, good episode. Mm-hmm. I liked it. You know, you know what is also good? What? The game from Bandai Namco, oh. One Piece World Seeker. Mm-hmm. So that came out in March, and a free update just came out in April. And the Episode 1 DLC will be coming out early summer 2019, where you might be able to play a new character. Ooh. Yes. And, you know, a character we're going to talk about a little bit more in the, this episode, you know, this podcast episode. So, you know, stay tuned for that. So get on that game get it for your systems it's on playstations on xbox it's a lot of different things so and it's a lot it's a lot of fun if you like one piece you're gonna love this yes mm-hmm. episode 134 i will make it bloom Usopp the man and the eight foot shell man back to Usopp the man yeah. i remember one of the first episodes oh yeah daddy daddy the father and Usopp, and Usopp the, man. the man wow good <laughs> That's the detail I did not know about. Wow. Okay. But well, Usopp the man again, right? Usopp the man. He gets to be a man He's every a now man. and then, right? <laughs> He's a man. <laughs> so this episode starts out in a funny way. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Luffy's bored, and he takes interest in a book. And everybody's so surprised. Yeah, like, like, you're going to read? Luffy's going to read? Uh-huh. That could have changed his life forever. Yeah. He's like, wow, Maybe books are fun. Maybe I don't different one piece. I know, right? (laughs) Luffy's uh, taking a hiatus from being a pirate. He's uh, (laughs) he's interested with this book. (laughs) I know, right? (laughs) Anyways, um, the funny thing is, Zora comes in like as he as uh, Luffy's talking to Robin about the book and like like what is a what's a book? (laughs) All right, Zora comes in. He's like, hey, we got island, and he's like, oh my gosh, we're going to an island, yay! (laughs) And that book interest is gone forever, (laughs) forever. So, um. You know, the crew is going into this town, you know, mm-hmm. just trying to see what's about to happen. Uh, get some resources, of course. Um, Luffy's about to have some fun. And Usopp uh, sees that there is a fireworks festival. Mm-hmm. So he's like, hey, maybe I'll get some gunpowder. Mm-hmm. And he meets this old man who has uh, this face paint on his face, <laughs> yeah. right? Uh, yeah, right. Uh, and his apprentice who are making fireworks yes. for this fireworks festival. Mm-hmm. And it's a little girl who's his uh, granddaughter. Mm-hmm. Coat. Yeah, um, I forgot what her name. Wait, wait, so her name is also a play on words too, yeah. which is funny, huh? Yeah, it is Kodama. Yeah, Kodama. So, yeah, Kodama. And that's a play on words. Yeah, so on yeah, what? so the old man's name is Odama. Ah. And then Kodama is so Ko in in Japanese is kid. Ah, uh, so, that makes sense. So kid Dama, kid right? Uh huh. Gotcha. Right, <laughs> and um, they're just they're they they've been. In a generation, they've been making, their families have been making fireworks for generations. Mm-hmm. Uh, and we hear from the little girl that her parents died during the last festival mm-hmm. because um, they were trying to do an experimental fireworks, um, fireworks shell. Yeah. And um, it blew up and killed them. I was mm-hmm. like, damn, that, that is sad. A big firework. And she plans to launch it tonight it's like, by damn. herself. You're like, whoa, little girl. Mm-hmm. Whoa. And Usopp's going to tell on her. And she's like, no, don't <laughs> tell. I'm like, don't tell on her. Don't tell on her. Yeah, right. <laughs> Although, to be honest, oh, okay, well, I do like this girl. I like her a lot. Like, yeah. whereas, like, she's I like very her smart. Spirit. Yeah. yeah, it's like, she's smart. I mean, like, when Usopp's about to tell, um, she kicks his foot 
and then throws a, a, a firework in his mouth so he, he can't tell. And I was like, man, she's, <laughs> she's crafty. Yeah. Um, but yeah, she, she, mm-hmm. she's, she's committed. She's like, I want to finish what my parents started. Mm-hmm. It's like, dang, that's, that's ballsy girl. Yeah. She's like maybe eight. <laughs> maybe Yeah, nine. maybe. Yes, right? She so, looks very little. Yeah, she does. But she's like, I'm going to do it. Mm-hmm. So, uh, so she's like, Usopp, you got to help me do this thing. Because yeah. this, is, this is what my dream is. Usopp's like, okay, fine, I guess. Mm-hmm. Um, and she's like, I already got the the launch team, you know, the people who are supposed to help put the equipment out. And who are supposed to help um, launch the fireworks um, to be on her side. But they actually tattled on her. Yeah. Dun, dun, dun. They were the ones mm-hmm. who tattled. Mm-hmm. And her grandpa's like, you can't do that, little girl. <laughs> mm, there you go. I like that gruff voice you just put out there, right? <laughs> Which is uh, good. I mean, like, for me, it makes sense. It's like it's responsible. It's like, yeah, you're mm-hmm. eight years old and, yeah, you know, it sucks. And, yes, you have a lot of skill, but you're eight years old. Yeah. She gets upset, goes to her parents' grave, okay. and Usopp pretends to be the voice mm. of her parents. Yes. Like, she... The- I like which I, I actually found endearing. <laughs> like I was like, that's that was nice because like it was raining and they were like, we're not gonna do the fireworks if it rains. And little girls like, if it keeps raining, this is a sign from my parents that they don't want me to do this. Mm-hmm. So then Usopp is the voice of her parents. He's like, listen, little girl, or like her, listen, <laughs> daughter, like you, like you can't do this because you hurt yourself. But, you know, we believe in you and, you know, just keep learning your skills and listen to what your grandfather says and, mm-hmm. and keep learning about these things. And then eventually once you're older, you'll be able to do this. Exactly. Which is nice. And then and then uh, the son comes out as soon as he finishes his speech. He's like, ha ha, I knew this was going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> Little girl's like, you're full not. of shit. But, <laughs> <laughs> but thank you. Which is nice. Oh, so... Um... Turns out that Usopp had figured out that the top, the tower next to the cottage, mm-hmm. is the launch pad for the big firework. Mm-hmm. And he was looking at the card before, and I didn't know what he, you know, he mm-hmm. was sort of, you know, yeah, putting it together like yeah, how it could it work exactly. Right? But he didn't say anything, so I didn't know that was what he was using it for. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah, the little girl helps launch like the regular fireworks with the. With the launch team, which is pretty cool. Mm-hmm. Like, she knows her stuff. Yes. You can see her, like, working. And Usopp makes the big firework hmm. uh, come out. He launches his firework <laughs> first, the one he made, and yes. it's a dud. <laughs> <laughs> it is a little it bit. Do it does right? It does a little bit. Also got some people's attention. It's just sort of like, hey, what's going on over there? Right? But yes, I know, right? It was, like, crappy. <laughs> it was a bust. Wimpy, wimpy, wimpy. Mm-hmm. So <laughs> but then the big one, though. Mm-hmm. Mm, yeah, was, it covered like the whole sky. Yes, it was super. That was ginormous. Cool. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and then he's like, "Hey, can I take some g- gunpowder now, old man?" <laughs> <laughs> and the old man's like, "You could be a pirate for all I know, but you're cool." All yeah, right. he's like, I'm like, he like, is a pirate. Yeah, that'd be bad if he was a pirate, right? <laughs> I don't know. Thank God Luffy wasn't there. Yes, I know. Because he would have said, we are pirates. Right? It's just like, you fool. But, oh, it works out. It worked out really well. Yes. I I like this episode. Um, Mm -hmm. It was was cute. It was endearing. It was cute. Yes. uh, Usopp was the man, you know. (laughs) Big bro Usopp, right? Mm -hmm. Um, And it was nice seeing the fireworks. Yes. And also, this episode is a little special to me, too, because of uh, there's this AMV um, that I used to watch, like, as I started watching One Piece 2. Um, and like my, my big, what showed me that, that AMV and they, I remember like one, like a big moment in this AMV was that they would do, um, this fireworks from this episode. Mm. And like, I always think about it. Like it was this sort of like towards the end of the song where like things are like sort of working out for the crew. It, it, it just, like this scene, like is always sort of stuck in my head. So it was nice. Nice. Mm-hmm. That's nice. Yes. Mm-hmm. Episode 135, the fabled pirate hunter Zoro. The Wandering Swordsman. So, this was about Zoro. Mm-hmm. And this is a story about Zoro before joining the crew, mm-hmm. which I appreciated because we didn't get a lot of information on Zoro. And no. he was the first one to come on. Mm-hmm. And all we got was his uh, tiny Zoro y- story yes, uh-huh. with Kuina yes. and the dojo and the swords and all that. But from there to, you know, he became well, a bounty a hunter. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yes. Uh, but what happened? How did he be? Like, we had no clue. No uh-huh. clue. Mm-hmm. Um, 
So we see him arriving at a bar. <laughs> and this part's really funny because uh, there's he gets in, he has no money, and he orders, and he's like, just kills some dude that has a bounty. <laughs> yeah, he's right. like, okay, now he's like, how much serve. is your bounty? Five million? Okay, Ooh. cool. <laughs> now you can serve me some food. <laughs> right. And, uh, right before that, too, we also get to see Johnny, our boys, Johnny and Yosaku, Yay! right? We, I miss those boys. Me too. Man. I miss them. Yeah. So this is addition. them when they're younger. They had a little mm-hmm. more hair or different hairstyles, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And uh, Johnny's like, "Hey, you stole our bounty. We were looking for this guy." <laughs> so I was like, "All right, you can have it. I just need enough for food." <laughs> yeah. Thanks, guys. Exactly. But I'm looking for me hockey. Has know where he's at. Mm-hmm. Wow. What are you gonna do with him? I want to be the best. All right. That's cool. So <laughs> yeah. I was like, "Cool." They met, but it was so weird because. Zoro's like, I'm not a bounty hunter. I just do this so I can get enough money to do what I got to do, mm-hmm. which is nice. You know, like he's, he's focused. He's always been focused. Um, and it sort of makes sense, like, why he was so ready to join Luffy, I guess. You know, like, because you would think, like, a bounty hunter is doing it for uh, a different reason. Yeah. Um, of, um, of you know, maybe being heroic or getting money, you know, not for being the strongest, right? Mm-hmm. And we get to see, um, we get to see, um, why Johnny is wanting to be a bounty hunter because he wants to be heroic, you know? Mm-hmm. Whereas Yosaku is like, I'm here to get money, <laughs> which makes sense. I mean, yeah. being a bounty hunter, I mean, especially everything I learned from Cowboy Bebop, you're not doing it because you want to be a hero. You're trying yeah. to do it to get money. Yeah. And you can do it because you can beat people up real good, mm-hmm. apparently. At least that's what I think. Yeah. So, um, uh, what happens later on? Um, later, uh, Zora leaves mm-hmm. and he. He hands the guy over to Johnny and Yosaku mm-hmm. for them to hand over to the Marines. Yes. And then another guy attacks the town, Dick the Bandit. Dick the dick Bandit. Dick the Bandit. He's a dick. <laughs> he's he's a not dick. as real. He's not as much of a dick that like, like <laughs> I was like, yeah, maybe it's your name, I guess. But like his brother was more of a dick, yeah, if anything, right? Was. I've seen more pirates that are dicks because uh, if anything, Dick the Bandit this whole time was like, hey, I'm just here to get money. And, yeah, I'll do bad things. I'll blow up some things. But he was like, hey, I'm not trying to kill you. I'm just trying to get money. Uh-huh. You know, like when he first sees Zoro, he's like, hey, how about you just go away? I'll give you some money. Mm-hmm. He didn't have to do that. He could have blew him up. He could have like, all right, I'm a dick, and I'm going to blow you up, right? <laughs> and, you know, even for Johnny Yosaku, he gave him multiple chances to, like, hey, just leave me alone. I'm not here to, I'm not here to kill anybody yet. Yeah. Yet. Yet. Mm-hmm. Um, Even the little kid who got in the way. He mm-hmm. was like, hey, get, get out of my way, kid. I'm just here to stay, steal his money. Yeah, I guess maybe that's a dick thing. <laughs> yeah, it's not, it it's, it's not. It's not. <laughs> other people are, I guess, like, it, 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 there's other ranks of, like, being a jerk, right? <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> Anyways. So, turns out the guy that Johnny and Yosaku turned over to the Marines with Dick's brother. Oh so now Dick's God. mad. <laughs> now he's going to be a dick, dick for real. You're right. <laughs> like, I wasn't going to be a dick. But now <laughs> I got to be Dick the Branded. <laughs> so, yes. so meanwhile, Zoro went uh, to this swordsman. Mm-hmm. Yeah, swordsman time. Um, to get back his sword, uh, this guy was fixing it, uh, apparently. Zoro damages his swords a lot. Yeah. I guess he isn't as fine-tuned yet yes. mm-hmm. in this moment of his life. Mm-hmm. Um, and the the sword that the guy lent him while he was fixing his got broken. Yes. So he's like, how am I going to pay you? <laughs> <laughs> Um, but he hears about the bounty on Dick, so he's like, ah, money. So, yeah, okay, go, got right? it. Well, right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so... Zoro's not, like, at least, like, not, like, a good guy in that sense. Or I guess he is. I mean, he does good things, but he's not, like, oh, there's people being hurt. Oh, he's secretly a good guy. Yeah. yeah right? He's not doing these things because it's good, but because he's there and he's, like, well, might as well, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And almost always there's a reason yes. for himself yes. also. Like, with uh, the guys at uh, Whiskey Peak, yeah. where he just oh, beat all of them uh, because right, of uh, the coat. Yes. He needed a coat. So yeah, right. Oh, yeah. A drum up. Island, right? Uh-huh. Uh, yeah, right. Like, where he's like, yeah. And, like, oh, like, right. That was Drum Island. Yeah. Yes. Whiskey Peak, I mean, was to protect his crew, which is great. Yeah. But at the same time, it's like, yeah, he's doing these things for a reason, which is nice. Mm-hmm. Um, so Zoro hears about the bounty down the hill, uh, mm-hmm. like on Dick, who he heard, right? And then Johnny, um, he's like, I'm here to be a hero. 
Yeah. yeah. So he, <laughs> yeah. Like, he tries to take on Dick, and Yosaku's his homie. He's like, okay, I guess so. We're going to fight. <laughs> <laughs> so um, they fight, but it's not looking good, though. No. Um, they're getting stomped. Yeah. Stomped <laughs> out. Like, I mean, Dick's doing a good job by himself. But, yeah. But um, he sicks his whole crew on him. Like, he has like 20 mm-hmm. people with him. And he's like, all right, soften them up, boys. If these guys really want to die, let's do it. <laughs> so he has his whole crew jump them. Like, damn. Like, it's like, that's that's bad. But, yeah. And he's like, you guys really want to keep going? He's like, yeah, we're going to keep going. And he's like, dang. You guys are <laughs> tough guys, but mm-hmm. at least Dick isn't being horrible. At least Dick was like, hey, I was going to let you guys go. Right before they're um, about to be executed by Dick, uh, Zora comes in and stops him, mm-hmm. which is nice. Yeah, that's enough of that speech. He comes in all so cool. <laughs> so cool. And, yeah, he just... He fights him, yeah. Fights him. Yeah, he fights yeah. him. Um, and, like, there's a little boy. Also, one thing I do want to say, like, this little boy was the toughest kid, or <laughs> toughest man in the whole village because everyone else is like, no, stop fighting Harry. His name's Harry. Harry. Like, stop Yeah, he fighting. has an H on, exactly. the, on his... <laughs> I didn't even realize the H. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, I was wondering what that was. That's funny. The little kid comes in. Zoro stops the little kid from fighting. He's like, hey, I got this. Think about being smart. And there's a cool scene that happens, too, where um, Zoro's fighting, and he takes out the henchman. He's about to start fighting Dick. But Dick does, like, he's about to shoot him. And then as that happens, he wakes up from his dream. You know, like, so we see that Zoro's been dreaming. You know, I like, guess just sort of reminiscing yeah. on what happens and interrupts things. And I was like, this would be a cool spot to stop. The episode, you know, like the episode was just like a mystery. And like, what happened to Zoro? Uh-huh. Did Zoro get shot? You know, that would have been cool enough. But um, we get to see that the episode continues after present day Zoro has a little spat with Robin. He's like, I don't trust you still, but you're here. All right. <laughs> Whatever. And Robin's like, hmm, you're pretty shrewd, swordsman. And he's like, nice. Very nice. <laughs> Anyways, go back to the, to the reminiscing. And um, we see that the little kid, Harry, was being ballsy again and stopped the gun from firing because he douses it in water from mm-hmm. behind. Um, so before Zora gets shot, uh, stops the cannon from coming out and allows Zora to do his cool moves and knock out Dick. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then, yeah, after all that whole deal, then Johnny and Yosaku join Zoro. And Zoro's like, okay, might as well. Yeah. And they're like, yeah, big bro. Yeah. So that's how it all started Man. for them. That's why they're so close. Yeah. And that was a great episode. I thought that was a great episode, yeah. too. Yeah. Like, that's technically filler. Yeah. I was I was very glad to know more about Zoro. Mm-hmm. You know, his yes. history. Yes. Mm-hmm. Me, too, actually. Because, yeah, we don't really know too much about Zoro. He's a very mysterious guy. Ooh. I mean, he's like, why does he have green hair? I don't know. Does that mean anything, <laughs> right? I don't know. Why is he a swordsman? I don't know. Anyways. That's the end of that episode. And that's the end of this podcast episode. Mm-hmm. Any predictions about what could happen in the next uh, batch of episodes we've got to watch? Uh, I don't know. I mean, a new adventure is due. We had a lot of filler. Yes. We had a lot of downtime. Yes. So I know that there is a new adventure coming up on an island. And I know that we will warm up to Robin. I, I want to see what she's about. Yes. So... Me Hopefully too. we get to see that. Yes, I can't soon. wait till that mm-hmm. happens. Well, yeah, I'm glad that you did that, and I'm glad you enjoyed this. We hope that you guys enjoyed this episode. Mm-hmm. Yes, don't forget to check out the Funimation blog at funi. to slash One Piece Podcast, which we're going to be updating constantly with binge roots, information on the podcast, information on characters and maps. And anything else that uh, we have in mind. And also don't forget to head out to our shop, which is the Funimation shop, which you can find on Funimation.com slash shop. And you get one piece for your home video collection. So we got movies, we got the anime episodes, and we have specials. And for all things One Piece, follow us on Facebook at One Piece Official. And follow us on Twitter at One Piece Anime. Yes. We also want to thank all the people who make this podcast happen. The creator of One Piece, Oda Sensei. Oda Sensei. Toei Animation. Toei Animation. Our audio engineers. Andrew Austin. And, of course, everyone joining us on this journey, all you straw hats out there. So please rate this podcast wherever you're listening to it. Give us a nice review Mm. and share it with other One Piece Nakamas. We like five stars. (laughs) (laughs) The next One Piece at a time will be covering anime episodes 136 through 143. So be sure to watch down Funimation now, subbed or dubbed, and get ready. Peace. See ya. (laughs) 